looked like someone is brain dead. So I, I, I'm talking for like 20 minutes and I didn't record. I didn't record, man. I'm crazy. Anyway, welcome to the playthrough, etc., etc. If you see the channel name, that's my name. They call me Dave Bone for short. It's eight, almost like nine degrees in the mid south. Take that how you will, you know. You know. So like, I was basically like ranting for like twenty minutes, like how they franchise like you know such a crazy thing right now. And like I'm recording it's like E3, um, E3, the day before Nintendo, uh, stuff because like. Based on my knowledge, this E3 sucked. I it, E3 was terrible. Man, like, I, I am not, I didn't, I don't understand why people, uh, I didn't know why, I didn't understand, like, why the companies take, like, an hour before to show content updates and then show content updates for, like, their stuff. Like, no. Nah. Feel like oh well, like the animation like I think the on fire record the animation really good I like Titan hands he got like a nice he got like a nice simple nice and bright vibrant stuff it'd be nice if on um, direct this show but like uh, we got uh, Netflix I don't think they gonna do a good job DC y'all based on how they put in all the video game adaptation of shows like Captain Marvel. Really good. If you haven't watched Castlevania, watch it. It's pretty good. It's a nice way to spend a few hours of day on how, how you do this show. Like, yeah. Uh, well, Cuphead, Cuphead, I saw the clip for it. Look very nice. People complain like it looked like a flash animation. But, like, it's all about how they um, um, look. You know, speaking of how they look, for me, I'm trying to be an uh, artist, but like, I can clearly tell like they changed they 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 changed up the design a little bit, just a little bit. Because like just, it just for like animation uh say I know why why yeah, you can tell huh. you can tell but the King Dice on um, voice actor I I would think I was thinking he would have more of a he bold. Home. He based on the clip, it sounded like he was a game show host. Like, but I thought he had more of a like a, a rough set of tone. Like, like I can't do the voice right now. But like, and like a very rough, like bold, like dark voice. You know, like, like, like <laughs> welcome to no, I just with it. His voice kind of weird. I can get to it, but like, I might get that written in the evil show. It looked nice. It looked nice for Jep um, Japanese uh, animation, CGI animation, and I could tell maybe by one of the team in Capcom CGI. You know they call it anime, which uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But like one of the things I was talking about in the part before the recording, I wasn't even recording. But like, I I think Sonic Mania. I mean, I don't I I don't think Sonic Forces is a bad game. I think it's like a mediocre game. Not the best. It just like it had problems. It really had problems because it just didn't have. It had the. It didn't have the ability. And based on my research, not research, that's the fire. Sonic Force did not have the full like three to four like the average amount of time they get. And I believe the average amount of time they game in like three to four years. At max, you know, why not? Two to four years, maybe five, not King of Hearts on oh, level one. I don't believe in that like ten years. I didn't want to think that Cyberpunk on uh, on uh, situation, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Because like we people say like it's a next gen game. Man, if that if it was a next gen game, and that game was now doing like the beginning of like the Xbox, the PlayStation era, then why it don't work on a console it would like propose on? You know, if you knew that that was gonna work, then just make it on. The, then just push it to next gen. The thing is, uh, they just didn't on the, they just didn't want to. I think like man. It's just one of those games, 
like, it just, why? Like, Sonic Force, they, it needed more time. It needed more time. And what weird is that from 2017, if they just kept Sonic Forces, if they could push it, push it back. You want to make the holiday type of um, title. Like, Sonic Mania was doing good on by itself for a $20 thing. Sonic Mania was doing good for $20. Pretty good for a game like it's really you get a lot of bank out your book. And for twenty five dollars, you get more bank out your book. You get more characters. You got, I think I did almost all of the character playthroughs with all the ammo for you. But like you get a bank out your book Sorry. for like twenty dollars. Like, like if the menu team had the ability to add for more time. Just for a few more months, you know what I'm saying? From uh, spring to summer. The summer is very uh, loose because it came out in August. Which I think that messed up forces even more because, like, from August, September, October, November, that's three months from a good game to a, a not so well game. That people hate it. Some people hate it. I'm fine with it. That's bad. They can't. Really, they can't put that joint back to, like, a spring. Oh hell! Give it another year! Give it another year! A year uh, and another year can help a game. Because they just don't know how to, they are uh, they having a hard time hitting what time. Like, just give it another year to do a lot. Another year can do a, a lot, a lot. Like really. Because Sonic May were already doing well. And no. Sonic, uh, Team Sonic rating pretty good, but no one, no one really played that. I had fun with it, you know, why not? It was pretty good, I like it. it I think the other DLC, but like, it's just something to say that I do That one thing that I was talking about in the last recording, <laughs> it, they're like, I don't want to say Sega don't care, they don't care. It's not like how Mario, ca like Nintendo care about Mario. Mar they like, the, like, it's very hard. Nintendo the buzz on stuff with Mario because they know that the main heavy hitter. That they main heavy hitter. And like with the move the Sonic movie, it was so amazing to see how that went down here that design was so bad. And with a design for anything, you go through a group of people and ask them, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? And they go by average. I want to see the prototype version. And based on what I seen from the prototype version, if those leaks were real or not, maybe, maybe not. But like, if those prototype version was um real, like I like that little, a little one, uh, who's on the car with um, uh, just like some Photoshop guy. Like he was like all he was like all nice and fluffy and cute and everything. He was, it was very nice. I'm like, I'm thinking, so people, you let them over real. People are like, how can they equal to that? Because they're just ugly. It was ugly. And that could mess up the franchise really bad. But I don't but I don't think Sega had a word in that joint. Because it was doing it, uh, it, it feels doing it time where they don't really care. They just want money from them. And I'm surprised they didn't feel making money. But like, um, what did you say? Like they don't, they didn't care, and that's why, even though like they on show the design, and Sega did not like the design, I don't think they had any ability to uh, to change that the way they uh, add things. They just have to deal with it because like they sold it the IP like that, and they, I think the folks on uh, uh, Paramount knew they didn't care. Did your fella? He, he knew he messed up. He knew he messed up. Like, he ate some humble words. Jim Curry knew, like, alright, fair. Fair enough. You know, he didn't like people uh, wanting to change the design. He said, fair, man. Uh, he the movie did great. It did great for a simple adaptation. It did really good. Uh, he, they, they were lucky on People cared about it. I just wish my Sega had that much careness in it. Cause they don't care. Like here, hit me. I bet they don't care so much. What like Sonic Mania thing? 
Um, when the song made it to you, like, when the song made it to you, they more time. I bet they didn't care because they thought, oh, this was just some, this some simple side game we make. It ain't even a mainline game. It most likely ain't going to sell that all well. So, fine. If you want more time, you can get more time because we don't expect nothing from this. But in reality, this is one of the highest rated games in the series. And it's so well to get a physical release. So, why Sonic Force did so terribly? That's shocking. I feel like, dang. Like, I think it really uh, hit them hard. Yeah, because like, this team, that name part I made the vision, made a better game than us. That's why I don't think we're going to see no Sonic Mania 2. You know, this team have the ability, have great ability. Like one thing I'm fine, I'm fine with this game is this. This game is this, and it gives enough modders the ability to, just, just like you know, like those ROM hacks of like Sonic One Two, like those were out there. And you can a lot of ROM uh, hackers, they can do a lot with making their own thing, but it wasn't the best thing. When you have <laughs> When you have a very modern, clear, classy, not classic, like a classic game, a lot of um, modern stuff, cleaner thing, they got the, all the stuff you need. For ROM hackers, it can really help them a long way. Like how Generation helped. Like the shocking thing was, like the forces, you barely saw any mods for that game. It's shocking on how many people didn't even care, man. It's shocking to see the level of amount of people that don't care about it. But like, it's so like, yeah. No, it's fine. Generation game. A PC version has so many mods from like level to character to abilities and everything. Well, I only see like a few mods, and that's just to make Sonic Force them look a little bit better. Like maybe we can give them like a different character mod. Well, like that chaos boss mod, but that game needs more time. I, I just, I'm being dead for real. I'm being real, real. And I'm not gonna uh, go away with one or two. It's the sad fate of it. Yeah, truly the sad fate of that one game. They had so much to go. But, well, uh, not, not hitting that point, so. Like Nintendo, Nintendo, they care. So like, even so, like, how many people that worried about uh, the Mario movie being not that good? But like, oh, it made by the Illumination. It was uh, written by the same guy from Teen Titans. Nintendo don't play around with their franchise. They be dead locked on that joint. That's why I think like Super Nintendo World looks so good as the because it would very supervised by Nintendo. And I think University will do that when you deal with a very like old and classy company. So they say like, alright, we wanna do it. So even the movie made by that team, you gonna look nice. They're gonna uh, do all the things you do. Maybe take some risks and then, you know I'm not crazy big risk. But you know, risks are risks. And I believe that game gonna be pretty decent. I mean that movie gonna be pretty good. Speaking of the gun, I hope they do well E3 because E3 was terrible. Well, that I already said, man, they got short term memory loss. <laughs> man, they got short term memory loss. Hey, right, that that was part of that wasn't part of it. So like, you know, that was a reference. To tell them. I guess here, short term memory loss. And I guess here, short term memory loss. <laughs> Sonic Boom was the funny show. They should have got the same right off of Sonic Prime when they did. I'd be fine with that. But all about caring. The reason it's the only last one was because people that really cared about it kept it a lot. You see, like, friends that's like Crash and Spyro. For how uh, critically acclaimed those franchises are, I won't, I don't want to be that person. But, like, the fans of that uh, stuff did not, I don't want to say they did not care, but what enough 
people to care about it. It was people like that really like playing the game. They really like the game, but they can understand why that stuff on um, why Activision didn't make no game for such a while, even though they had the franchise on their um belt. You know what I'm saying? And only to like the re uh, remakes did good to they say like, all right, fine. But like, it it's understandable on why this stuff go. Because it took a few games, a, a few mediocre games for people, uh, for people not to care about crashing on uh, on fire, uh, and for the company really not to care about crashing on fire. Uh. So I feel like if Crash uh, or Spyro uh, had the same type of fan base as Sonic, where like people making fan games like every few years, there's a mad community, animation, fan films and everything. I honestly believe those friends that was on last the amount of time Sonic did because Sonic messed up so many times with Sonic 06, Sonic Boom. So many times that um their game was, they had the bit to kill the franchise off. The movie had the chance to kill the franchise off if it didn't take the right step. So many chances that like if people had enough care and a lot of people that care, I thought like crazy amount of people care. And even the games are mediocre. That no friend that would last as long as him. The only reason because people care enough uh, keep it going. <laughs> the, the shocking thing, people care enough. Like movies, the thing you gotta give it to people that care. You gotta give it to people that at least know they no one and care enough to know how they want to do. It. Like Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat was a pretty good movie. They haven't really much of a story, but like the main, the director based on that interview. He cared enough, he really, he just thought like, the only thing was, the only problem that uh, they faced was like, he thought like, oh, we just had like, alright, I meant to go <laughs> If I just put all the moves in, it'd, be, it'd get on any brown point. And that, and that would be with some people. But like, oh, it wasn't a bad move. It looked pretty, it looked nice. You know. You gotta have people that care, man. Just care. Cause I don't wanna hate Sonic Force, and Sonic Force would look nice to me. It don't look like it don't look like pretty, it looked pretty nice with the hedgehog engine too. Even though the hedgehog engine too like a way they needed to make an engine because most of the engines were like outdated or they couldn't get to it like the hedgehog engine one which messed the whole game up. But you know, um, I don't believe they had they gave me a chance. But, huh. Oh, if you care or not, that's the thing. E3 is a prime example of people not, a company not caring. God, man, I don't want to say this. Uh, I don't I think this is going to be out like next week at the end of all the parts. Like, man, these company did not care because they cared enough. They could have just said, we're not doing E3 this year. We are not doing E3 this year. Cause they had nothing to show. And when they did have something to show, it just hurt it just like content updates and everything. But most of the game are pushing back like years or a year behind. Because like don't have a pre don't have a pre show showing content updates and put content updates. No, like don't. No, no. Some of them didn't care. Where it is, really didn't care. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, the only grace of you, I mean, the Xbox One was pretty nice. The Xbox One was pretty nice. You know, I don't have an Xbox. I'm over the Nintendo brand. If I ever go for uh, another gym, uh, next gym, I'm only going to get PS5. Like, that's like. When people ever had a chance to get a PS5, or when like, all the game, all the good thought had like a game game. Cause here's the thing: Ratchet and Clank and Money Maker. <laughs> You'll be dead serious with that. Ratchet and Clank and Money Maker. Conversion statement: I know it ain't a money maker. So whatever about that, but you know, pretty nice. The only thing people hoping on Nintendo doing a good job and like, come on, it's like, oh, I played the E3 was terrible. It was 
so damn. It's awful. Oh, awful. Oh. You know that reference. I have it. I dug this. I'm talking about that. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, crazy. I'm talking about the same stuff over and over. You got. I was so retarded. Do not record the first part. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. And get that damn bell.